from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top story is likely going to be some anxiety for health officials as they monitor the coronavirus numbers for the country over the weekend. Increasing numbers over the past couple of weeks already causing concern. Hospitalizations are approaching 100 heading into the weekend. And although it's not been confirmed that the highly contagious Delta variant is in the country, top infectious disease specialist Dr. Nakia Forbes believes there's a good chance it's here and it's driving the recent surge. Travel. Either we travel or when visitors travel, the strains can move around the globe and our country is no different. And so there's no reason to think that Delta might not be here. The public health measures, they're, they're not being adhered to very well. People are tired, there's pandemic fatigue, and so we know that when public health measures are not being adhered to, that's what's needed to spread infections. Prime Minister Minister has promised a statement on the situation before long. There's some more vaccine in country now, a donation of 3,500 from Caribbean countries, Montserrat and Anguilla. Co-chair of the Vaccine Committee, Ed Field, says they'll use that to continue second shots. That allows us to continue giving vaccines. In fact, we've, uh, I think, increased the allotment of vaccines to about uh, 600 a day from 400. We're happy that we don't have to discontinue uh, the process of giving vaccines. Field says more vaccine expected in the country shortly. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Queen's Council lawyer Fred Smith is out it again, filing a writ in court to try and find out why four Chinese nationals are still being held at the Carmichael Road Detention Center. According to court documents, the four were admitted to the Bahamas legally in December 2020, but were unable to travel back to Europe or Asia due to COVID-19 travel restrictions. Education Minister Lloyd has announced that as of now, schools are going to reopen in September. Drama for former MP Leslie Miller. He had his employee's payroll, almost $3,000, stolen from his car while it was parked, and he went shopping at a grocery store in Oaksfield. Another call from hospital officials for persons to claim their loved ones from the morgue. There's no more space there. Officials say some decisions will have to be made if bodies are not claimed. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, no major systems in the area, partly sunny, maybe a stray shower, highs in the upper 80s, 88 at Freeport, 89 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet, high tide now, the next low around 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s, no systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call insurance management. We're now in the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and Best. Friday's World News headlines. The Olympic Games now officially underway in Tokyo. The opening ceremony is being held today, although some competition has already taken place. They still have COVID-related issues. They're watching at least eight athletes have tested positive for the virus so far in the Games Village. Central China bracing for more rain in the wake of that flooding earlier this week that left more than 30 persons dead. Officials say it's unlikely there'll be a repeat of that situation, though. Anti-government demonstrations continue in Cuba, and the U.S. is getting involved, putting some sanctions in place against some Cuban officials. It's estimated that up to 600 persons have been detained in Cuba over those demonstrations. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 513, SO 517, Rubus $5.18 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Team Bahamas getting ready for competition in Tokyo now. So far, so good. As far as the coronavirus is concerned for our team, we start with swimming tomorrow. Tribune Sports has a report on Joanna Evans and Isaac Bastian. 
Tribune Sports has reports on some of the early competition in Tokyo. Plenty of soccer. Find out who made the women's national soccer team. On the last word on the NBA Finals, the Bucks celebrate in Milwaukee. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in